like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. Sometimes nature is more terrifying than any fiction. If a meat-eating plant doesn't thrill you, wait till you see the most bizarre, shocking, or creepy-looking species of plants. Watch out, as some of these are going to boggle your mind forever. Stinking Flower Pretty on the outside, stinky from the inside. This is the kind of flower that will never make you fall for good looks once you have smelt it. Well, because it literally emits stinking smells of rotten flesh that is most potent during its peak blooming night till the next morning. Well, the good thing is getting a chance to smell one is a rare experience, since it takes almost five to 10 years to bloom for the first time, and then another two to 10 years to bloom again. Reaching up to heights of three meters, this one is labeled as world's largest and the most spectacular flower, minus the stinkiness, of course. Nerophon tree. You will find it pretty hard to believe, but Nerophon trees actually bear fruits from the young female body. According to Buddhist mythology, they tend to grow only in the mythical forest of the Himalayan region in India. Surprisingly, these young ladies bloom only once every 20 years. In Thai folklore, a god named Indra planted these trees so as to protect his wife and children after they were almost attacked by a dangerous male in the forest while picking food. These fruits served as their safeguard by distracting the menacing men. Where many seem amazed by this strange tree, others are confused by the convincing footage. Let me know what you guys think about it. Carrion Plant Mistaken for a real starfish, this is a five-petaled starfish flower with over nine inches of diameter. With seemingly big size, yellow color, and hairy fringes, this flowering plant is native to the deserted regions of Tanzania in South Africa. And despite its oddly beautiful shape, the plant is mostly known for its repulsive smell. But surprisingly enough, this unique odor is attractive enough for flies and insects to gather along for pollination. According to some scientists, the plant smells so terrible that they are trying to use it as a human appetite suppressant. Well, who would have thought something that smells like a rotting flesh can turn out to be useful too? Octopus Stinkhorn Another plant that bears a resemblance to a baby octopus is commonly known as devil's fingers, mostly because the tentacles are covered with stinky brown jelly-like substances to attract flies, not to digest them, but rather to use them as a dispersing agent. Apart from looking like it came straight out of a horror film, the stinkhorn octopus is a native mushroom from Australia and New Zealand, with the ability to even grow in a plastic bag. When the tentacles reach a length of four to six inches, they then make their way out of the bag, scary and poisonous, with the ability to do what most of us can't. So I guess it is named very appropriately. Rat Eating Pitcher Plant if you have a rat problem, consider solving it by planting a rat-eating pitcher plant. The largest cannabarous plant was discovered on the verdant face of Mount Victoria in the Philippines. If an unlikely mouse or a bird makes its way inside the savage thing, it is not going to make it out alive. The vicious plant lures its prey with its oh-so-sweet nectar. When animals approached it with the intention of drinking its saccharine liquid, it would slip into its waxy interior and allow them to become entangled in the ooey-gooey sap. Once trapped, the discharged acidic substance acts like a digestive enzyme to break down the paralyzed prey into small food particles. Isn't it such a glamorous way of catching rats? Portuguese Sundew a plant that looks like it's from another planet. In the Algarve region of Portugal, this is yet another rare predatory plant growing mostly in dry and stony areas. From leaves to stem, Portuguese sundew is beautifully covered in sticky substance to trap insects. With its sweet smelling nectar, it attracts small insects by entrapping them inside a roll of leaf. And once the poor insect is imprisoned, it suffocates it until the whole insect got drowned into the sweetness of toxic nectar. The wicked plant then secretes special sort of enzymes in order to digest the insect completely. So I guess goodbye to all the insecticides, sundews have got these little creatures covered. 
Giant Water Lily If you are a fan of lilies, you would be thrilled to see the largest of all water lilies called Victoria Amazononica. Native to the water of Amazon River, these giant water lilies have the diameter of 36 to 72 inches floating over submerged stems inside the river while supporting over 40 kilograms of weight, only if spread evenly all over the surface. Flowering from March to July, the 1.2-inch white flower blooms 6 p.m. in the afternoon till 9 a.m. in the morning, exhaling a sweet apricot-like fragrance. Well, thanks to its strange process of pollination, the first night flower is white and female, and next night it's pink and male. Snapdragon Seed Pod What will you call a plant with a number of many skulls cling to it? Well. Rumor has it such a plant can help women regain their lost beauty and youth, while others say they can keep you protected from witchcraft and curses. Everything apart, when a snapdragon flower actually dies, the seed pod dries out into the shape of tiny brown shrunken skulls. However, the fresh flower looks like that of a little dragon's jaw that opens and closes with a gentle press. The jaws, being sturdy, are pollinated by bumblebees instead of honeybees, as they aren't muscular enough to open a dragon's jaw. Isn't it amazing how nature can be beautiful and strange? Living Stones How would you process the thought of living stones? Well, a botanist when first discovered this plant in 1811 thought to have discovered some strange rocks, but to his surprise, this was a whole new plant species with root system and even flowers blooming out of them. Native to South Africa, this plant is basically leaveless with just a rocky appearance in different colors, patterns, and shapes. And well, if the stories of children in Nambia Desert chewing on these vibrant rocks to keep them hydrated will shock you, then the fact that these plants can live up to 40 to 50 years will definitely leave you stunned. Man Orchid if you haven't seen little people hanging out of plants, it's time to get acquainted with man orchid, or the Italian orchid. The purple-pink flower petals, with a hint of white, literally look like tiny men clinging along with their hats on. They appear in a cluster form of around each man as tall as 4 to 18 inches. Each cluster may or may not consist of up to 90 of these flowers. But as cute as these men look, the unpleasant smell spraying out of them might not want to go near them. However, the nutritious root is used to treat a variety of medical-related issues. Besides, it is one of the secret ingredients for many Turkish beverages and desserts. Ghost Plant From classic tales of ghosts living on plants to an actual ghost plant, due to the unusual coloring and ghostly appearance, the plant got nicknamed as Ghost Plant. Well, thanks to its symbolic relationship with fungi, this plant does not possess chlorophyll to even do photosynthesis. Instead, it gets the nutrient from parasitism, a different kind of process called mycoheterotrophy. This peculiar mechanism allows it to grow and glow even in the darkest of forests. All they need is a suitable fungi host to thrive. Besides the fact that ghost plants are edible, if you find them anywhere around, don't pick, else it will quickly turn black or wither. Baseball Plant With brown thornless tubercles on the ribs running along smooth sage green skin, if you are not a fan of baseball games, I'm sure you will adore this cute little baseball plant. The reddish brown strips and delicate geometric pattern all over it not only makes it extremely distinctive, but beautiful too, unless you try to touch it. Well, because the plant is rich in milky talics that it can induce skin irritation. Other than that, baseball plants like to live and grow around 8 inches in height with a diameter of 3.5 inches in subtropical regions such as on hillsides and stony pathways. But with minimal care, you can have them along your bedside windows as well. Soft Monkey Tail Cactus Well, the name says it all. It is your regular cactus except for its bizarre appearance that looks exactly like that of a monkey's tail be it steepy rocks or dumpy soil, spring or early summers. Monkey tail cactus are mostly found in the deserts of North America. While it originated from high above in the cliffs of Bolivia, 
Santa Cruz with bright red flowers, complementing the tales even more. Apart from the word soft in the title, don't let your fingers get fooled by these thin, spiky hairs popping out of each tail, which for some reason does even look soft. Black Bat Flower Apart from the spooky name, this evergreen flower can grow anywhere, anytime, just with some love and care. The incredible flower is 12 inches long, with modified leaves reaching to a length of 28 inches. Well, due to the fact that its brackets look like wings and leaves resembling that of whiskers of a bat, it is named as the black bat flower. Now, you know how poison cures poison. Black bat flower, despite being toxic, has tremendous abilities to dissolve, dread, fear, worry, and even emotional stress. Who would have thought something so spooky and indigenous can turn out to be so relaxing and calming? Hammer Orchids Where orchids are one of nature's masterpieces, hammer orchids are on number one. From sandy soils to forests, the slender hammer orchids can widely grow from 10 to 23 inches tall, even in wet winter areas of the southwest of Western Australia. While it just looks like a thin wire sort of stem, they are pretty good at catching some flies and insects. It has got a unique flower that resembles some sort of dirt attached to the plant. That is because it is only pollinated by a certain kind of insect called the thinned wasp. Is it just me, or is everything about this plant unusual? And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber pick is a picture of this Venus flytrap, an insectivorous plant. I think you all must have already guessed what this plant resembles. No need for me to spell it out. The plant grows to a good five inches in diameter. It also feasts on different insects by snapping at it. It's cunning and attracts them with its fragrant nectar. Not only the insects, but also gobbles up a whole mouse. After five to 12 days, the plant reopens to discard the undigested parts of the insect. Don't you think these meat-eating plants took the definition of being vegetation in the absolutely wrong direction? Wellwitchia. Considered to be one of the most bizarre looking plants, Wellwitchia, as the name says it all, is an unusual plant because of its large strap-like leaves that grow continuously along the ground, and the fact that during the entire life of this plant, it only produces two leaves. The plant bears a short stem and a taproot. Beyond that, two strapped leaves becoming twisted and frayed as the plant tends to age. This plant, apart from growing in the deserted areas, is able to prevent wind erosion. Even under the stormy condition, the broad leaves stay rigid and immobile. This due the special kind of stomatus, which prevent it from dying out, even on the hottest days. Strangular Fig With deep, dark forests taking on sinister shapes, only the fittest can survive, and the strangular fig along with its sturdy structure, not only makes survival possible conditions. Strangle figs are also called banyan trees, since Hindus consider them sacred, because apparently a Buddha once used to meditate beneath the tree. The massive brachic type begins life as a sticky seed left by an animal on a tree branch high up in the canopy, which, after rooting, can turn into a thick trunk tree surrounded by large patches of leaves, with the exception of sucking the life out of its host tree. Doll's Eye Plant Whereas some may be surprised to see human eyeballs hanging from a plant, others may be repulsed by its creepy appearance. The Doll's Eye Plant is actually a white baneberry plant with black stigma appearing in the middle. And despite the hellish look, these eyeball berries are pretty toxic to humans at inducing cardiac arrest, except for birds who find these berries harmless and pretty easy to consume. Previously, very small quantities of these berries were used by Native Americans for creating herbal remedies. And just so you don't get fooled by these white bane berries, here is a fun fact. Its flower actually smells like rose, but don't you dare plucking it for an immediate muscle paralysis. Red Tooth Fungi 
It looks delicious, or perhaps scary. Well, let me show you what it is, actually. Apart from being on the list of most terrifying plants, this red-toothed fungus is non-toxic and can be used as a medicinal mushroom. Moreover, being induced with anticoagulant and antibacterial properties, it can also be used to treat Alzheimer's disease. It owes its name due to small protrusions oozing red liquid out of a white mass that forms a tooth-like structure. Mostly found in North America, Iran, South Korea, and in Europe, it is also called devil's tooth or strawberry with cream. Whatever suits your liking the best. Skunk Cabbage Unusual, stinky, and yet fascinating. These skunk cabbage can not only keep your kitchen garden safe from squirrels and rats, but will attract flies and insects for the pollination. Not just that, interestingly, skunk cabbage is blessed with this remarkable ability to produce heat even when it is freezing outside. They can emerge and bloom during the winters by maintaining a safe temperature for up to 21 degrees Celsius. The buds will warm up to the extent of melting down the snow around the whole flower. Apart from this, every year skunk cabbage is supposed to shed its leaves, whereas it can live up protecting your garden for over 20 years. Jelly Ear Mushroom From the texture to the appearance of it, the jelly ear mushroom actually resembles that of a human ear. Previously, it was thought that fungi or plants that look like human body parts could be used to treat that specific body part, and hence from the 1860s, the use of these ears was limited to just creating medicines, until the Chinese got their hands on it and started to incorporate these slimy ear into their dishes, where it is called the wood ear. Apart from wondering how it would taste, you can find them anywhere with dead elder wood in damp or shady areas to get the chance of tasting one. Cobra Lily Where plants are supposed to be nice, green and flowery, the cobra lilies will freak you out. Originated from California, this pitcher plant is a kind of carnivorous plant, growing only in bogs with water running beneath them. Well, apart from all pitcher plants, cobra plants have some incredible feeding techniques. Gifted with a pump to draw water up from the roots while maintaining its nutrient supplements. Due to its cobra hood-like appearance, it attracts the insects by inviting them in and into their doom, with a downward pitcher trap ensuring the insect does not get out. Wolfia After seeing a lot of huge flowers and stems, it is time to see the smallest of flowering plants called the wolfia. The plant lives out in the aquatic environment, and to be honest, it is so small that any would confuse it with the duckweed. They float quietly on the surface of lakes and ponds or anywhere with a high concentration of tropical regions. With no root above or beneath, if you take a closer look, the oval-shaped plant has a pistil and a single stamen in the center of the flower, which, by the way, rarely blooms. Garana Another eye-popping plant, this one is Garana, a Brazilian-based plant from the Amazon Basin. Apart from looking like human eyes with a black seed within a white covering encased in a red shell, Garana is pretty healthy coffee berry-sized fruits. And being three times higher in caffeine than regular coffee, the roasted form of Garana is used in medicines, juices, soft drinks, and other beverages to boost up the energy. Well, due to its stimulating and therapeutic properties, Back in the old days, people used to pluck the fruit out of the Amazon rainforest in order to use it as a natural form of consuming energy. Scary yet energetic. How would you like to have a taste of both? Golf Ball In a world full of beautiful flowers, cactus never fail to stand out being creative yet attractive. This one is a white spherical golf ball shaped cactus with a diameter of about 0.7 to 1.7 inches. With white and gray thorns emerging from it, golf ball cactus is usually confused with thimble cactus. But the fact that golf ball cactus hardly ever grows a sub ball out of its own bulb and remains isolated distinguishes it from the thimble cactus. Besides being latex free, the fairly dense thorns cling to the succulent of stems makes it look more thorny and scary until a beautiful pink flower blooms out of it, which will make you adore these tiny snowballs. 
Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.